What's up and welcome to another episode of Gizmo Slip Tech. Yes, you read that title correctly. We are looking at an overclocked RTX 4090 that is also water cooled. How cool is this laptop? You may have never heard of this brand that makes this laptop. They're called XMG. They're a laptop reseller based out of Germany and they sell their laptops all over Europe. And what we have here is the Neo 16. If you're in the US, you can still buy this laptop though, but you'll have to buy it from Electronics and it's called the Mech 16 GP. The special sauce this laptop uses is water and it literally flows through the laptop through a dedicated heat pipe that cools mainly the GPU. But since this laptop also features shared heat pipes with the CPU, the water cooling can also help boost the CPU performance by about 20 watts or so. One key upgrade this year with the XMG Oasis Gen 2, so they did launch it last year at CES, the Gen 2 version now features self-sealing valves both on the cable and the rear ports of the laptop. This is a much better solution than the original Oasis, which required you to drain the laptop's water cooling heat pipe every time you disconnected the water cooler. Now, when you disconnect it, there may be a tiny droplet or two, but overall the magnetic connector felt easy to attach, strong and secure, and it kept the water inside the pipes, which made the whole experience way more seamless and just so much more classy and professional. With just air cooling, the RTX 4090 is capable of boosting up to the 175 watts. But when you attach the water cooler, the magic begins. The laptop fans spin down and become almost whisper quiet. When we turned the water cooler on, it made the whole experience just so much quieter. XMG claims you'll see an 11 degree drop in GPU temperatures, though in my live stream with XMG, we tested the air cooling versus water cooling using Furmark, and we saw a drop from 82 degrees Celsius down to 75 degrees Celsius, though we didn't do a super long detailed test, and Furmark is also a super heavy stress test, not really your typical gaming test. Overall, a seven degree drop is still remarkable considering the last and most important fact, when you turn on the liquid cooling, XMG starts supplying extra voltage or wattage to the GPU, which allowed the GPU clock speed to boost from 1427 megahertz up to 1640 megahertz, which is about a 15% increase to the clock speed overall. Now, of course, it's hard to say exactly how much performance we're gonna get in real life games, because there's so much variety and what resolution you're playing at, what game engine you're playing with, is the GPU bound, is the CPU bound? There's so many factors going on uh, with game performance, but it's clear that we should have a noticeable gain or increase to the gaming performance when the liquid cooler is attached. And just this fact alone may make the XMG Neo 16 the most powerful laptop that you can buy from a raw gaming performance chops perspective, which is just so freaking cool. I imagine the overclocking headroom on the RTX 4090 is actually pretty significant because the RTX 4090 laptop GPU is basically a stripped down desktop RTX 4080, same CUDA cores. So in theory, it should be able to get much higher performance if you can put a lot more wattage through it. So to get the RTX 4090 variant of this machine that also comes with an i9-13900HX, it's gonna cost approximately $4,100 USD, at least from XMG. I'm not sure how much electronics is selling this laptop for. Now the i9-13900HX has 24 cores, 32 threads, that's eight performance cores, 16 efficiency cores. XMG provided Cinebench R23 runs for us, and the laptop peaked out at 30,582 in the multi-core and 2,076 in single-threaded performance. And this is some crazy levels of performance for such a small portable package. Now the i9-13900HX is gonna be the only processor that XMG is going to offer with this chassis, but because they're just doing this i9 processor, their goal is to have such a high volume that they can keep the price of the laptop down lower and be more competitive on the market. Now the folks at XMG are also working to overclock the DDR5 RAM from 4,800 megahertz all the way up to 6,400 megahertz. And they did have some RAM benchmarks that you can 
take a gander at here. Um, there certainly is some noticeable gains in memory, sensitive applications, and benchmarks, but real life applications probably won't be as high as these synthetic ones. And for gaming, I don't think the gap will be nearly as big as these synthetic tests either. But even if it's as low as three or 5%, that's still a pretty significant value from just a memory upgrade. Now, these XMP overclocking profiles for the RAM will be located in the BIOS, and in the BIOS, you can also enable or disable the P cores or E cores on the i9 processor, which can come into play for legacy applications. Say if they're running on the E cores when they should be running on the P cores, you can turn off the E cores so you can get the maximum performance. Now the laptop features two 2280 SSD slots and on the right side, we have two USB A's and a full size SD card slot. On the rear, we have the liquid cooling ports, USB-C with display port connected to the NVIDIA GPU, HDMI 2.1 also connected to the NVIDIA GPU, then an ethernet port, power adapter port, and on the left side we have a microphone port, headset port, and a USB type A. Now the laptop can be configured with a clacky mechanical keyboard or a quieter membrane keyboard. I personally prefer a mechanical keyboard feel for myself. XMG's display is a QHD 16 by 10 G-Sync display with a MUX and Advanced Optimus, and it does seem to have a great color range, but the brightness only goes up to 350 nits, which isn't as bright as some of the better panels we're seeing from other brands. Overall, the Neo 16 is an incredibly cool concept, and many gamers are going to fall in love with the high level of performance, cool temperatures, and odd lack of loud blowing fan noise that you typically associate to gaming laptops because of that sweet liquid cooler. I've covered a ton of laptops here at CES 2023. If you wanna see even more laptop hands-on videos, be sure to check out the rest of my channel. If you enjoyed it, drop a like, and if you wanna see more of my content, subscribe for more future videos. I'll see you in the next one. Brandon out.